please, I, I hope you, the government, just take my thoughts into consideration. That's all I'm asking. Now, before I get started, when I say you from this point forward, it is you, you know, the United States of America government. This is my kind of just open letter, uh, and I want to share my thoughts about why this whole pattern day trading rule is outdated, it doesn't matter, and how if you eliminate it, it's going to benefit you that much more. So, you know, from this point, like I said, I'm speaking to you, the United States government, and for you as viewers, if you agree, uh, definitely give this a like button, share the video. And you know who knows, maybe, maybe we could get something started with this. But government, the first reason why I, I'm asking on behalf of many traders out there that you should just get rid of this whole pattern day trading rule is not new. What is not new? The internet. And just online trading in general. I get it, back in 2001, when the rule went to effect, you know, that was right, you know, after the late 90s, what's this internet, you know, what's this, you know, all sorts of things going on around, you know, the, the bubble, the dot com, lots of craziness going on at that point in time. And I get it, I do understand it was new, it was cutting edge. So yeah, you know what, we're right on the forefront of new stuff, maybe regulate a little bit, make sure things don't spin out of control. But at this point, it, it is literally, over a decade later, not new. People get technology. People understand how to use the internet. You know, ding, you've got mail. You know, that's way in the past. People make jokes about it now. Everybody knows how to check their email for the most part. So technology, internet, it's just, we get it. Everything, I mean, heck, cell phones now, you know, it, it's not new. Second, it is actually harmful. It hurts, I would argue, many more people than it helps. Reason for this, if, if somebody wants to get into day trading and they want to you know, give it a go, let people give it an honest go, a realistic go, and telling them, you know what, you only get three day trades per five day you know, rolling period, that is gonna make people force trades. It's gonna give people the mentality, all right, I only got three, I gotta make the best of it, and they're gonna just, it, it causes too many mental uh, voices to show up. It, so, so it causes too many different components to arise where it just doesn't work out for people. It, 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 they, it causes them to become more of a gambler than an actual trader because they adapt the mentality of, go bigger, go home, because I can only do three of these. and. I, I realize the, the, you know, the, the reason you had that in the first place was, well, we don't want people to lose all their money because things are so fast moving and you know, the internet's new and, and just, I, we, we want to protect people and their funds. But more people lose money because of this than anything else because they can't do, they can't trade the way that would allow them to get in and out quickly, in and out quickly. And at the end of the day, if somebody shows up and is a gambler, just let them gamble. They, whether what, what do you care if they lose their money online in the stock market or flying to Las Vegas to play at a casino? What does that matter to you? In fact, it does matter to you, and I'm going to explain that in just a second. And that's where the third thing comes in, taxes. Let's think about this. If you just let people trade as much as they want, what is that going to allow the brokerages to do? They're going to be collecting all kinds of commissions, ching, ching, just over and over again, commissions, commissions, commissions. Their revenues are going to go up. Their profits are going to go up. Keyword there being profits, because when they have more profits, guess what you get to do to them? You get to make more money on taxes. So instead of letting you know, people go off and gamble it away in other areas of life where you may not be able to collect those taxes, then why not just let them trade as much as they want online. Again, the sole purpose I'm not saying is to take advantage of gamblers, I'm not saying that. But by getting more taxes, you're gonna actually allow people, give people a real chance at making it with allowing them to day trade as much as they would want. So you might as well just kill two birds with one stone. Give people an honest shot, 
and just take advantage of the people with a gambler mentality anyways, uh, you know, that are, you know, are going to go and buy the lottery. I mean, you do it with the lottery system already, right? That's just the tax on people that don't understand math. And so why not just open it up and collect all kinds of taxes? So technology is not new. The internet's not new. It's actually hurting a lot of traders. And finally, put some more money into your pockets as a government by being able to collect more taxes because the more trades that happen, the more revenue and profit these online brokerages are going to get, which you then obviously charge taxes. So, uh, you know, hopefully you will consider this, but I think it would be better for everybody if you just kind of write away the rule and kind of start fresh and just say, you know what? Put a disclaimer, trading is risky, day trading is very risky. Do not you know, use more than you can afford to lose and then just leave it at that because a lot of these people go and find other ways to use that money and you're just not gonna be able to collect taxes on it anyways. So, I don't know, maybe this will reach somebody. If not, again, for you listeners and for you viewers, if, if you agree, if you agree with the premise, maybe you wanna add in more reasons, you can put those down in the comments section below and if this ever happens to reach some sort of government official, then yeah, maybe they'll read down through the, the uh, comments and, and see even more reasons. These are just my th main three reasons, but by no means am I saying that these would be the only good reasons to get rid of the rule as a whole. So definitely leave those down below. Like I said, if you agree, if you, uh, you know, wanna see the day trading rule go away, then share this video and certainly click that like button. If you are interested in trading alongside me and other traders, then I do offer a private trading community known as the Inner Circle. So the two images that you see on the screen, the one image, if you click on it, it will take you to the Inner Circle page and give you all the details about it. The other is going to be a behind the scenes tour that I personally give so you can see exactly what you are gonna get with the subscription. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then go ahead, check it out, and by all means, let me know if you have any questions.